Hi, and welcome to 106 Consulting. Today we're going to take a quick look at invalid dates in Primavera P6. What are invalid dates? An invalid date can be one of two things. A forecast date that falls in the past, or an actual date that is out in the future. In Primavera P6, when we talk about the past and future, we are talking about the activities dates in relation to the data date. The data date in Primavera P6 is the effective status date. Only completed work can exist before the data date, and only planned or remaining work can exist after the data date. Invalid dates should never be present in your baseline schedule. Many scheduling guidelines talk about this, and the DCMA will check schedules for this condition. So how do invalid dates occur in a schedule? Generally speaking, invalid dates can occur in a schedule once the project gets underway and status is being applied. Let's look at forecast dates to start with. A forecast date that falls in the past is typically due to negative float in the schedule. When negative float is present, it may be possible to have a forecast date that falls in the past, that is, earlier than the data date. Because negative float is typically caused by the schedule exceeding a constraint, this type of invalid date tells you that a key date is going to be missed. The Primavera P6 schedule log doesn't specifically call this condition an invalid date. For an invalid forecast date, you will most likely see an entry under the exceptions heading, that there is one or more activities with unsatisfied constraints. You should also keep an eye on your total float field for negative float, as this is a warning that you have potential invalid dates in the schedule. Invalid actual dates. Invalid actual dates are present when an activity is reporting an actual start date that is in the future. This can happen when an actual date has been entered manually and incorrectly by the scheduler. If the Primavera Progress Reporter or Team Member tools are in use with the system, these can also be a source of invalid actual start or finish dates in the schedule. Indeed, so can any other external system that feeds status to Primavera P6. The P6 schedule log reports these in two possible ways under the warning section. First, the affected activity may appear under the Out of Sequence Activities heading. This will happen if the activity started before its predecessor was completed. That is considered an Out of Sequence event in P6. You will also see the same activity listed under the Activities with Actual Dates Greater Than Data Date heading. As we've recommended previously, it's a good idea to keep an eye on the schedule log for warnings and exceptions. These can help you quickly identify and correct issues with your schedule before they become a major problem. If you'd like to learn more about Primavera P6, then 106 offers some great online training courses. These courses are written by industry experts and offer you all the skills you need to get up and running as a P6 scheduler. For more information, visit our website at 106.com for full details on how to get started.